Installing Raychem T100 The Raychem T100 is an above insulation splice or T connection kit. Allow 24 inches, 600 millimeters of heating cable for installation. Cut off the heating cable end at about 45 degrees. Apply lubricant for easier insertion into the stand. Insert 18 inches, 450 millimeters of heating cable through stand. Square off the cable end with a 90 degree cut, but do not attach the stand to the pipe yet. And proceed to stripping the end of the cable. When stripping Raychem self-regulating heating cables, you should be aware that conventional cable stripping techniques are not appropriate. Let's look at a correct way to strip a self-regulating heating cable. Before stripping the cable, refer to the kit installation instructions for the exact length of each cut. When stripping the Raychem self-regulating cables, use the Raychem SR stripping tool or utility knife. To remove the outer jacket, lightly score the jacket around and down, being careful not to cut too deep into the braid. Bend the heating cable to break the jacket at the score and peel it off. Then take an awl tool or a pointed screwdriver, make a small window in the braid and bend the cable. Work around the cable and open enough of the braid to pull the cable out. Bend the braid back out of the way and lightly score the inner jacket around and down to peel off the inner jacket. For XTV-CT cable, remove the exposed black fibers of the heating element, cutting them flush with the inner jacket. Then remove the spacer between the bus wires and trim even with the jacket. For cables BTV-CT and QTVR-CT, Remove the inner jacket and cut down to the black core. Cut a notch in the end. Use needle nose pliers to peel back one of the bus wires and remove all black core to expose both wires. Repeat these steps for the additional cables going into the T100. Mark 5 eighths of an inch, 16 millimeters on the inner jacket of the wires. Retwist and straighten wires. Insert them into the core sealer guide tubes and push core sealers onto the heating cable to the mark made previously. Now remove the guide tubes. Slip green-yellow tubes onto the braids. If needed, trim bus wires and braid, leaving one half inch, 13 millimeters, protruding out. And pull the heating cable back into the stand so that one inch, 25 millimeters, is exposed. When fastening the stand to the pipe, use the appropriate number of straps indicated in the installation instructions. A small pipe adapter can be used for 1-inch pipes or smaller. This prevents the cable from being crushed by the stand. Be careful not to run the pipe strap over the heating cable to avoid cable damage. Now remove lock nut, install junction box, and reinstall the lock nut. Be sure to tighten the boxes completely onto the stand so that the grommets seal properly. Join the bus wires according to your instruction manual and conduct an insulation resistance test to ensure the cables were not damaged during the installation and record the results. Next, install crimps on the bus wires and the braid wires using Crimp Tool T100CT or Panduit CT1570 and install insulating tube over the bus wire crimps. Then screw on the strain relief and finally stow the wire into the enclosure and fasten the lid in place to complete your installation of the T100. The T100 can be installed in different directions. If the T100 is installed downwards, knock out the drain hole in the pipe stand. If you have any questions, contact your local Pentair representative or visit us at www.pentairthermal.com